In today's video, we're checking out the Flammer FX10 headphone amplifier. This thing is like a Katana, Fender Mustang, and Kemper in a box. Not only can you use this with headphones, thanks for the headphone port on this side, it also sounds great being plugged directly into an audio interface or mixer, whatever the case may be. And that's how you're about to hear it in this video. A massive thanks to Flammer for sponsoring this video. I really appreciate it. If you want to check out the FX10, I'll link it below. We get so many different options on this. What you're about to hear is a selection of tones now being recorded directly to my audio interface, thanks to running a line out of this headphone out. Let's get into it. Here's the Flammer FX10 up close. Now this is a digital modeling amplifier in a box. We get a volume control over here, an on off switch, and also an on to Bluetooth option if you want to jam to a backing track, for example. All the buttons, the hinges, and everything else feel really solid in the hand. While this is plastic, it's built very well. This side of the headphone amp is where all the magic happens. You can cycle through the amplifier presets by tapping on the amp button, then using this plus and minus button. And you'll see over here, that the light will actually change color. This one's also changing color because there's different effects on each of these amp presets. Now, in the instruction manual, they laid out very clearly what each of the colors are. Now, while some of the colors look pretty close to each other, we get something like 14 amps and 14 different effects to choose from. Much like the amplifier, if we wanna change the effects, we can simply tap on the effects button, then use these plus and minus keys in exactly the same fashion, which is great. The tone control also works in the same way. If we're down on the red side of it, it's a much warmer sound. And if we're over to the blue light, which might be a bit hard to see with my studio lights, it's more of a bright sound. Now, if you want to jam to some drum tracks instead of a metronome, we get all of these different grooves available to us just by using this headphone amplifier, which is why this is one of the most feature-rich units I've seen so far. Now, the cool thing is, if you want a drum groove, all you have to do is tap on this and you're in business. This took about an hour or so to fully understand how this worked, and then I was good to go, but it does take a little bit of a learning curve. But that said, as a headphone amplifier that records as great as it does out into an audio interface, I think this thing's pretty hard to beat. Again, a massive thank you to Flammer for sending this out. If you want to check it out, I'll link it down below. Here we go. Let's kick it off with some clean tones. Now the headphone out is going directly into my Focusrite sound card. So if you're looking for an affordable way to get great tones recorded on your computer, take a listen to some of these. Now this is the Fender Twin Reverb Amplifier model with some room reverb. So not a spring reverb, just a short room reverb. Here we go. Beautiful. This next preset is a Fender Deluxe Reverb with some Hall Reverb. I've added Hall Reverb just to mix it up and to keep it interesting, but you can add any of these reverbs to any of the amp tones that you hear throughout the video. This is neck and middle pickups together.
If you like that dreamy reverb, that's the one to use. Up next we have the acoustic guitar simulator with some room reverb. Now, anytime you're trying to turn an electric guitar into an acoustic, it's never going to be perfect, but it does an okay job. Let's have a listen to this on neck pickup. Here we go. This next one's called US Sonic. It's a bit of an off clean tone. It's not dead clean. And I've added some whole reverb and some delay. Take a listen to this. This is neck and middle pickups together. Pretty nice, let us know what you think of that. Over to my Telecaster, we're gonna test out the US Bass Guy amplifier preset, which is a Fender Bassman tweed amplifier with just a little bit of room reverb, or at least that's the reverb that I've chosen for this one. It tends to be my favorite, it's not too in your face. We're gonna start on neck pickup. Now that's a clean basement. I would have loved to have heard that with just a little bit more grit, but it is what it is. You got lots of clean tones to choose from. The last of the clean amplifier models is called Dr. Z Rec. Now this particular one, I've added some tremolo and some modulation reverb to, so it's got a more of an atmospheric sound, but take a listen to how great this sounds on both pickups. <laughs> That sounds beautiful to my ear. It's got all the low end there and beautiful top, so sounds great. Over to my PRS SE Custom 24, we're gonna try some of the dirty tones now, starting with the Brit J800 preset, which is based on a Marshall. This is bridge pickup, a little bit of room reverb. <laughs> I dig it. This next one's called Brit Plexi. I'm gonna start with just the dry tone, so no reverb or anything like that. It's a really great sound. And then I'll add the flanger and church reverb. Take a listen to this. <laughs> So if you get an effect that you like, you can just simply tap, tap the effects button and it will turn on. So that's pretty wild. This next one's called UK Combo 30. So I'm tipping it might be a Vox amplifier, AC30 or something like that. This is bridge pickup with just a little bit of room reverb. <laughs> It's a great tone. If you want to record some rock and roll or anything like that, that tone will work beautifully. This next one's called Angel Power, which I think might be an angle. <laughs> High gain tones, bridge pickup. <laughs> This next one's called Cali V or Cali 5, however you want to call it. And this one's based on a boogie amplifier by the sounds of it. This is a bridge pickup. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, it sounds great. That's without any other effect. So that's just the amp tone dry. This next amplifier model is called the Citrus AD30, which is based off an orange amplifier. This one sounds great, and I've added some mod reverb. Here we go. Might be one of my favorite ones on this particular headphone amp. The next amp model is called Solo 100, which is based off a Soldano amplifier. This one's great if you like higher gain tones. <laughs> This last high gain tone is called 5153, so again, based off another classic high gain amplifier channel. This is neck pickup, dry first, and then I'll add some mod reverb. <laughs> If you don't have a backing track available and you want to jam along to some drums, we can do that. We've got pop, blues, punk, rock, metal, funk, and jazz grooves to choose from. I'm just going to hit the first one here. And you can adjust the volume, the tempo, and the feel, and all that kind of stuff. But let's turn the drum track on. That's just a quick jam right there just to showcase how it can work. You can adjust the volume of the drum track accordingly depending on which sort of amplifier model you're using and how loud that is and all that kind of stuff. But it works great and the drums stay clean irrespective of the patch that you're on. Thanks for watching folks. My name's Shane again. A massive thank you to Flammer for sponsoring this video and for sending out this unit. I really appreciate it. If you want to check it out, I'll link it down below. This thing sounds unreal. Now while you might not like all of the effects built into it, you can use the ones that you like the best and just set it up and you'll be done. That's the one thing I really love about it. And if you want to do any type of home recording and you're not into the whole software thing because it gets a bit confusing, that's where something like this makes a whole lot of sense. And we get the drum track capability and Bluetooth capability. So there's lots to learn about this and you get lots of different tones out of it. Thanks to the dedicated volume control, we get plenty of volume on the headphone output. So you can run your favorite set of headphones and not annoy anyone in the house. My only small criticism with this device is that the light that corresponds to the effect or amplifier can sometimes get a bit confusing. Some of the yellows look a little bit too close to some of the other colors and the clear color looks a little bit too close to some of the others. So sometimes you get a little bit confused, but if you've got the manual and you can work out the ones that you like, it'll be really easy to remember. But overall, this is a really powerful little unit. This is one of the best products of 2023 so far. I know it's early in the year, but given its price to performance ratio, this is right up there. Again, I'll link it down in the description box below. Thanks again for watching. Catch you soon. See ya.